In this video, I'd like to explain what an electrolyte is and help you determine if a compound is an electrolyte. An electrolyte is a compound that forms into a cation and an anion. Therefore, electrolytes are charged substances. Therefore, electrolytes must be some kind of ion. Well, you might be asking, hmm, why do you have molecular compounds in this presentation, or even in this discussion? Because we learn that molecular compounds do not consist of ions and are not charged. So, what's the deal? Well, it turns out there's a, there's a small handful of uh, molecules that do become ionic when they are um, placed in water. And for the most part, they're acids and bases. Uh, I just listed uh, acids here, strong and weak, just to limit our discussion because we don't have, really have to go crazy with this. But the idea is that if a acid is strong, it will dissociate into ions 100%. I'll show you an animation of what I mean briefly. A weak electrolyte is a molecule or a weak acid that uh, does not dissociate 100% when placed in the water. In other words, if there's a thousand weak acid molecules placed in water, maybe two or three of them will uh, dissociate into ions. Then there's the rest of the molecular world, which is usually what happens with molecular compounds. They dissolve, but they do not break up into ions. In other words, they do not dissociate into a cation and an anion. Um, then there's ionic compounds, which is, I guess is the epitome of electrolytes. Provided that that ionic compound dissolves and then dissociates. There are quite a number of ionic compounds that are insoluble in water, meaning they will not dissolve, therefore not dissociate into ions. Um, we will not consider those types of ionic compounds in this class. When we think ionic compounds, I want you to think of um, the substance breaking up into cation and anions. So that means all ionic compounds for our purposes in this class are strong electrolytes.